Howdy folks, welcome to Yucatan English TV. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. Hey, we're fixing to load the van. We're gonna head about an hour south down to one of my favorite fishing areas, Celestune. Yes, this is our third and final issue of uh, Yucatan English TV here for the 2020 uh, pandemic shortened season. We promise you though, we have some really, really exciting spaces that we're gonna visit and fish for 2021. So y'all be sure to stay tuned to Yucatan English TV. But y'all, I hope you're ready for this. I'm gonna go visit my good friend, Captain Kino, once again in Celestune. We're gonna go see if we can, well, if we can just catch us some fish. Y'all stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar and Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. We have made it here to Celestune. We've made it actually, and I'll put a map up here in a minute so you can see where we are. We're at the mouth of the Ria in Celestune. We're gonna start off this morning throwing against these mangroves for some uh, snook and some trout. I got my Captain Gary with me. We also have Captain Kino back here wearing his boat. You guys, you ever down here in Celestune, you want to hook up with a good guy, this is the guy to contact. I'll put his information up here in a little bit for you. All right, first fish of the morning is on. Looks like it's a little speckled sea trout. All right, on. Got him on that terrorize. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right. Nice speck to start off with. Nice little speck. Let me go ahead and let it go. Start off with a little bit. Got her on that terrorize. They like it. They like it. Here you go. Fish on. Ah, oh, he's got a makabe, a ladyfish. Go on, dude. We can't eat that. <laughs> That's a good size makabe, ladyfish. All right. Well, that's one trout and one mockety. But we're throwing out here for about two and a half, two and a half, uh, two and a half meters, about six feet of water right now with this high tide. And we're on top of rocks. So we're hoping that uh, some snooks, more trout, maybe a couple of big amber jacks. We're just gonna keep on casting. We're gonna check a few other areas. So. Uh, let me put this camera down so I can keep casting. Well, that right there is what they call the Ojo de Agua, or a natural spring coming up right against the mangrove here. You can kind of look into there and see all of that uh, water kind of bubbling up. Lots of fresh water coming out. But we're just not seeing the snook and the trout that we were hoping for down here at the mouth of the Ria. So I think we're gonna make our way back into the, into the port area where we fished there two years ago, my good friend Javier and I. We're gonna see if we can uh, target some snook and tarpon. You can see that water boiling up out uh, there. So as we were making our way out of the, the port of Celestune and down to the mouth of the, the Ria, I spotted this inlet. I've never actually come into here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get back up into there or 
how far we can, but I want to see if there's any fish laying back in here. Looks interesting. Let's fish it. See how it looks fishy? But it's just really, really low. It's only about a foot of water here, but I could certainly see snook and tarpon moving into this huge expanse just off the ocean with a higher tide. So I'll definitely have to put this on the uh, on the books to, gosh, I see fish moving down there, but I can't imagine there can't be any bigger, bigger fish in this shallow, shallow water. But I'll definitely put this one on the calendar to, to visit this area once again. Maybe we'll finish a uh, fish, a, uh, We'll film a fishing show just in this area when we catch it one day with a super high tide. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the to the marina area. We're going to see if we can throw for some uh, snook and tarpon that way. Y'all stay tuned. Head shark in that boat. Wow. Well, we made our, made our way back here to the port, you guys. We're going to do a little trolling for some snook. I know some areas as well that we're going to do some casting for the snook and as well for the uh, tarpon. So let's see if we can uh, make something out of this day here in Celeste, dude. Trolling here in the, in the harbor. Gary's got him a fish. What do we got, Gary? You get us a snook? What do we got, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the play. Oh, Gary, you lost it, buddy. Oh, man. Well, folks, you know, gosh darn it, here I am in the van. I'm not in the boat anymore, which tells you that is it for Celestune. That's four and a half hours of fishing, and that's what we got. Gary had a snook hook up here just a second ago, and gosh dang it, I caught me a trout. And Gary got a Maccabee up there in the uh, in the mouth of the Rhea. But you know, I've been here before. It's been good fishing. I've been a couple other times where it's been off, just like today. So I've been, I was really, really hoping to turn it around for you folks, but no more excuses. You know what? I've only got 10 minutes filmed here, so. I've got a treat for you. We're fixing to jump in the van first thing in the morning, travel one hour due east, and we're gonna go fish in Zalam de Bravo to finish out season three, episode three of our pandemic issue for you guys. We're gonna wear our masks, we're gonna be safe, we're gonna be healthy, and we're gonna go catch some fish. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna keep on fishing here at Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. See you in a minute. Well, folks, good morning. I told you we'd see it in just a minute. And yes, here we are in Zalam de Bravo. You know, what is so cool about where we live here in the Yucatan, within an hour's drive of our home base, we get to visit these beautiful spaces. And we're getting ready to uh, fish again. One of my favorite spaces uh, here in Zalam down in the Ria. So, you know, we're just gonna see what today holds for us. Gary and I, we're gonna go throw some lures. We're gonna see if we can catch y'all some fish. Y'all stay tuned. We're fixing to go fishing. Well, folks, welcome back to Yucatan Anglers TV. Day two here in our episode three of our pandemic shortened season and i am excited because we have made it back to zalam de bravo we're going to fish two of my favorite little spots down here i'm with my good friend uh, darwin and uh, of course my captain gary we uh we're just going to see if we can catch you some fish today y'all stay tuned
so quiet and peaceful back in this little canal. Still low tide though. Um, she's only about probably three or four foot deep. I've already seen a few barracudas. We're gonna, we're gonna fish here for a few hours. So the tide's starting to come up right now. A lot of big fish down here. So we're gonna work our way down to the Rhea. We gave this a shot, we didn't catch anything in here, but it's still early and the tide's coming in. We can see the current moving in, which is gonna move a lot of the, the barracuda and the snook into here. Uh, so we're gonna make our way down to the Rhea. We're gonna make some cast on there. And see you again if we can just catch you some fish. Stay tuned. in the boat. Fish him. Well, there's a, a line of rocks right across here. We're seeing a lot of activity, a lot of blow-ups. Maybe some snook, barracuda, jacks. They're smacking this DOA. You know, I don't care if it's a barracuda, Jack. I'm just glad to be catching fish. Just glad to be catching fish. Like I said, I don't care if that's a, a barracuda, a Jack, a trout. I'm just happy we're here in Zalama de Bravo catching fish. Barracuda number two on that DOA terrorize. Show them off to me there, Gary. Ah. Barracuda number four. Barracuda number four. God. <laughs> well we're we're catching fish and you know that's what makes it fun that's why i love zalama de bravo this area can be really 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 amazing gary and i actually fi filmed uh gosh our episode two in season one down here that day we caught 14 tarpon and seven snook in three hours and that was so amazing we're not going to do that today unfortunately uh, we're going to catch 14 barracuda for you. So let's keep on casting. We're in a different spot here at the entrance to the Ria. All right, so we've made our way back into this first creek that we started in. Much, much higher water now. Let's uh, see if it brought in some another than barracuda. Been a barracuda kind of day, but say I got, I got, I got a big fish here. I got me a fish right, up, right there, right there. Oh yes, yes, yes.
Well, I tell you, 2020, what a year. You know, we're really sad that we just didn't get to travel. We certainly understand why this pandemic has affected everybody. And we are very, very proud that we were able to at least get out and film uh, a few episodes. Still be able to, to fish. 2021 should be really exciting for us. We've got a lot of places planned to visit and fish all throughout the Yucatan. Some very, very beautiful spaces. And that's our goal here at Yucatan Anglers TV is just to show you, the angler, some of our amazing spaces that we get to fish. I encourage you to come on down and give us a visit. Well, folks, sincerely, thank you very much for joining us here on Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. That is gonna be a, a wrap for number three in our pandemic shortened season. We are blessed again that we were able to fish and we will be back in 2021 and hopefully we're gonna get our seven shows in in some beautiful, beautiful spaces here in the Yucatan. So folks, stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time on Yucatan Anglers TV. Adios. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there.